For centuries, it was the remoteness of Brazil's indigenous communities that protected them from the rapacious outside world. Now it's what shields those who are encroaching on protected indigenous territory, starting fires and threatening the residents. The Caripuna had their first contact with the outside world in 1978. Kachika, talking her native language translated for us into Portuguese, remembers it well. She says they brought diseases that decimated her community. We had a lot of land and we lived peacefully. Now we live with fear. There are very few of us. The invaders are coming closer. But that was just the beginning. The prospectors keep coming. Brazilian law says these cattle should not be here and these fishermen are trespassing on protected land. But it offers little protection in areas that are so remote. Many of the fires started by developers to clear vegetation burn out of control. It's difficult at first to gauge why a place so remote, so tranquil, should matter so much to the rest of the world. The indigenous people who live here have always realised it. But now, as the smoke fills the skies and the ashes pollute the river, the rest of the world is beginning to realise it too. Adriano has been to Europe where he asked the European Union and the United Nations for protection. Protection for Brazil's indigenous communities, he says, is not being provided by their own government. Our biggest threats now are the invasions, the invasion of the loggers, of the gold prospectors, and recently there have been a lot of fires in the region, around Karipuna territory, and that's affecting our lives because the smoke is reaching the community. His brother Andre, the village chief, says when the land goes, the community dies too. We've been scared from the moment we heard about the invasions, from the moment we reported it. The neighbours have said they want mine and my brother's heads, and when we've got them, they'll come for the rest, to kill everyone. The Amazon fires have reminded the world of the importance of preserving the region. But they're just another consequence of the uncontrolled, unremitting, more gradual destruction being wrought in the interest of development, at the expense of this land and the people who live here. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Caripuna, Rondonia State, Northwestern Brazil.